Today we're going to show you how to remove the stereo from a 2009 GMC Sierra 1500. We're going to start with uh, setting the parking brake, turning the ignition on, and uh, reaching over here and shifting to a low, setting, setting, st stepping on the parking brake and shifting to a lower gear. Now we're going to do two things here. We're going to reach down here at the bottom of this panel just below the steering column and pull that corner edge back. This is going to release the little lip that's on the above panel here, right here that goes behind it underneath. We need this clearance for this. There is the lip that goes underneath this panel, but we can lift the panel up and remove that. We're going to start with a finger pressure and pry pressure and pry along the top of the dash. This is going to release clips all the way across. Walk, work across the uh, right side of the dash along the bottom and you can see where the uh, dash gets a little stuck down here in the corner so we're going to attempt at the same time to pull the top of the dash panel up away from the dash and up and it releases the uh, lip that we were talking about that was caught here we're going to set this panel to the side and this is going to give access to several screws here we have uh, three up each side, two hold the AC controls on, and uh, four hold the car stereo in. We have two on the right side of the car stereo, along with uh, a full library of removal guides on our website for the 2500 and so on, and many other speaker and antenna and amplifier removals. Uh, you have to remove the uh, AC controls on this uh, unit because the uh, mounting tabs on each side of the AC control overlap on the stereo and you can see the overlap here we have that goes above the panel on the car stereo uh, again this takes removing both screws for the AC control and this will drop it down out of the way so that we can remove the remaining two screws from the uh, left side of the car stereo Once these two screws are removed, we can uh, pull the car stereo from the dash. This is a Vinlock stereo, which means uh, it's keyed to the car in order to operate. Uh, replacing the stereo with the same exact replacement, you will have to go to the dealership to have it recoded. Now with the screws all removed, we can pull the car stereo from the dash. And this is going to give access to the back of the stereo. We have the main antenna, which is a press fit, which you just pull to release. The uh, two main connectors here have triggers on them that you squeeze down. Uh, these connectors are also keyed, so they only go back to one spot. But uh, the trigger on these is right here at the back, and when you push this trigger down, it releases the lock. This is the same for the uh, black connector as well. Again, they only fit one specific spot on the back of the radio, so there's no need to code these to see where they go. The antenna will just be a press back in to fit. This is how you remove the stereo from a 2009 GMC Sierra. Hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.